We're Malin and Johan, a Swedish couple that have been sailing full time since 2016. After three and a half years of sailing, we welcomed our daughter Vera on board. In 2022, we moved in to Sunhill Farm and started building our next boat from scratch. We're a bit over a year into the build now, and we are doing the last jobs on the hull before it's time to turn it over. It will be like a square wheel where the whole hull sits in the, in the middle of that. After many weeks of fairing and sanding the hull, we are now in the final stages. We're just on a small excursion today on the southeast coast with my sister and her family, Vera's cousins. Spring kind of uh, stopped for a while, so it's uh, pretty cold again and humid today. Kolla vad mycket. So we have a new week and as you can hear my voice is not the best. I've been down with the flu for the yeah, more or less the last week and for the last days I also got an eye infection from that so that's why I have bloodshot eyes. <laughs> so yeah it's been a, a tough week. Marlin and Vera have caught it now so they are inside resting and yeah this is more or less the first day where I felt strong enough to really do anything. So I thought I should do start working a little bit today. And uh, I think it was yesterday we got the, the third barrel of epoxy. Um, we don't really need it right now, but we have used a little bit more uh, epoxy than we calculated on for the fairing. So we're going to need to use a, the third uh, barrel once it's time to start laminating the ins inside of the hull, uh, once it's flipped over. So I'll just try to get it indoors. As you can see, it's raining. I mean, I think it's okay for it to sit out here in the rain for a few days, but, and it's not very cold. But uh, yeah, I'll see if I can manage to get it inside. The barrel weighs around 245 kilos, so it's not that easy to move.
So as you can see, I have removed the plastic here on the sides. And that's because uh, last week I managed to uh, sand the whole bottom section of the hull. And uh, I also did a uh, transition area here between the top sides and the bottom section. So now <clears throat> the bottom part is more or less ready for the second round of fairing. But it will not be over the whole surface area. It will only be at certain spots. So I think that will be the plan for today to get those spots fared and maybe also the keel pocket. Um, I think it will be nice to just uh, start out slow today because uh, yeah, I'm not 100% up to speed yet. And then tomorrow, when, once that has cured, I can start sanding that and uh, yeah, really start preparing the hull for the first layer of that uh, barrier coat. Uh, I really hope we can get that on the hull during this week. I'm really looking forward to that, to see the whole hull in one uniform color. So this is how it looks up here right now. I think it looks pretty good. As you can see, I have uh, yeah, those markings. That's where I'm going to add some more fairing uh, to the hull. So it's not a lot. Uh, the biggest area is actually the keel pocket. And I will start sanding that now to prepare it for the fairing. But as you can imagine, it was a lot of work <laughs> uh, sanding this last week off camera. But I haven't used the longboard as much as I did on the top sides down here. Um, so it will be interesting to see how good it really is once we get that uh, base coat on. I think it's alright since it's uh, below the waterline and we will have a dull uh, anti-fouling paint system on here, so for that I think it's perfectly fine. But f at this level of fairness, uh, it's probably not good enough for a high glossy paint system that we are going to use on the top sides. But I think that I found a pretty good middle ground. And if we're not happy with this, we can always add a little bit more fairing and use the longboard later on as well. But I'm thinking this will be enough for now. So all suited up and ready to do some fairing. Um, I always get the feeling that all of these type of suits, they're always too short in the arms. I don't know if it's just me having long monkey-like <laughs> arms, but they should be a bit longer because it's quite often when you're working that you're stretching yourself and then you're not covered around here and it's quite easy to get epoxy at this area. Uh, when we did the lamination, I always cut yesterday's arm off up here and then I had one extra sleeve up on top so I could cover this area. And also this section is what gets most of the epoxy so then I could just uh, use that for a few days and then throw it away and cut an, um, a new pair. But it's kind of an annoying So I've changed the recipe a little bit for the fairing for the keel pocket. Um, I will use the micro balloons that we have used for the fairing for the, yeah, the whole hull. But I will also add some uh, colloidal silica just to make it stronger and harder. 
it will also make it harder to sand but I'm thinking just because that we will have that keel plate sitting there it would be nice to have a, a bit stronger fairing just for that area not that I really think it matters but uh, why not just to be sure So that's it for today, we'll continue tomorrow, I'm finished with the fairing and uh, I think I will call it a night now, I'm pretty tired, hope I will regain some more strength tomorrow. Uh, I think I will leave the heater on so this will be fully cured tomorrow so I can start sanding. So it's Wednesday today and um, I think the fairing has uh, cured enough now so I can start sanding it. Uh, and with some luck, this is the last time that I'm sanding the hull before we can um, flip it over. Uh, there will be more work on the keel pocket though. Um, I used a toothed spatula for that uh, so it will be a bit faster to use the longboard to get a really fair curve inside of that. So there will be a second round of fairing in that section. But for the rest of the hull, I think this will be the last time that I'm sanding it. So maybe tomorrow that we can start adding the first layer of uh, barrier coat. And I said before that we're going to use four layers of barrier coat on the bottom section and three layers on the top sides. Uh, but we still really haven't decided on how many layers we're going to use. Um, but I have decided that for now we're only going to add one layer and that's because it really doesn't make sense to add them all uh, already now since there's plenty of more work to be done on the hull later on to um, tie the deck into the to the share line and the same in the stern and there will be some more fairing going on here so we might as well uh, wait with the last layers of that uh, barrier coat. So today will be a quite interesting day, because today I will start painting the hull, if you can call it that. Um, we'll use a barrier coat additive mixed in with the same type of epoxy that we've used for the whole build, West System 105. And the reason we're adding this powder to the epoxy is to make it more waterproof, uh, for the lack of a better word in my English vocabulary. Um, and Normally, when you're uh, using this barrier coat with epoxy, you do several layers in one go. So you don't let the first layer fully cure uh, before you start with the next layer. So you do, do it kind of wet in wet. Uh, but we're only going to add one layer now, just to get a uniform color on the hull, uh, to get it to be a bit more pleasing for the eye for the coming years. Uh, so there's really no practical reason to do this now, other than other than that it will be nice for me, for us, to see the hull and the level of fairness that I hopefully have, have in the hull now. Um, and other from the barrier coat, we will use an, um, some pigment. I have three different colors, 
gray, black and white, and I think we have decided to go with white now. Uh, later on, once we're adding more layers um, with the barrier coat, we will have different colors on the different layers. That's nice for the future if you're sanding on the hull, uh, because that will give you a, a hint uh, if you're sanding too deep, because you see that the color is changing. Um, so, but for now, we'll go with white. But before we can start painting the hull, I need to uh, wipe it down, and I think I will go with the tack rag first, just to remove any dust, and then after that, I will wipe it down with alcohol. And uh, it's still pretty cold, so I think we'll go with the fast hardener, and that means that I have to uh, mix pretty small batches so it doesn't burn off in the, in the trays before I manage to get it onto the hull. And I don't think I will manage to do the whole hull today, so I will focus on getting the front section uh, done today, uh, because that will be really revealing. Um, on how fair the hull really is. Yeah, it really works. It turns out that white wasn't really an option since that barrier coat powder is grey. So those two together, white pigment and the powder, this is the result light grey. But I think it's okay. It is so satisfying to finally see the surface getting a layer of base coat. Because like with all paint jobs, there are so much preparations. That's it for tonight. It's pretty late, a bit um, after 8 in the evening. It takes quite some time to do this because you're mixing some small batches. But even so, I'm pretty pleased with the progress. I mean, I'm not halfway, but maybe 40% or so. I think it looks good. I mean, obviously, this is not the uh, top side uh, high gloss paint system. This is just some epoxy with the uh, pigment and the barrier coat powder in it. But, uh, and there are some places where I had a bit too much. So I have some runs up in the bow there. But uh, you can still see that the hull is really fair. And that's really what's important now. Because before it's time for the top coat and everything, there will be more sanding, and uh, but with finer uh, paper. What a transformation of the hull. The base coat made such a difference. 
Yuan's many hours with a longboard has really paid off, and the bow looks so sharp. Thank you for watching and to everyone who contributes to our production. Without you, it wouldn't be possible to make these videos. Hope you enjoyed the episode and see you next week.